Hey, remember, once you're logged in, you'll see this page here. Go to your pages. It'll list all the pages you have. So if you want to go to, let's say, meet the team, open it up, click on that. And the Divi Builder opens up nicely. Let's wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, you should find something like this. Now, these are all sections. Is oops. Okay, so once it's all loaded, got your header section, services section, and every time you see a gray box like this, those are little modules inside the page. So that one says image, that one says image, this one says a name, image, and there's a name. That means it's the text. So if I want to click on the little gear icon, it opens up the text module. So we can change this. Fix our text here, make it bold, change it to heading one, two, and three, and so on. Okay, this will just make it smaller, bigger, underline color, and so on. Once you're finished, click the tick to accept it and go to the next one. If you want to change image here, click on this image icon, the gear, the gear. And then you can upload a file, select file, choose a file you want to upload, and it'll upload, and then click that. Okay, but now I don't want to change it, so I'm going to click X. And once you've done your changes, just click your update button to save the page. Another quick way to do it in the front end instead of the back end, so let's go view the page. We can click here. Or you can click on top here, it doesn't matter. It shows you the actual pages in the front. Now, what you want to do to let's say you want to fix your spelling here or add text here, you have to click this enable visual editor. Click on that. Once your visual editor is loaded, when you put your mouse over it, you'll see this blue and green and gray uh, bars again, same as we just want to back in the whole section. That's the row, and these are the little modules inside. So if I want to go and fix here, I'm going to just click inside there, go back, fix it. Um, if I want to traveled, I can right click it, traveled. Okay, fix my spelling. If I want to highlight the text like this, this bar pops up, gives you bold, italic, underline. You can link it to something. The AA lets you change to H1, heading 1, or heading 2, heading 3, or bold as well, if you need to. Um, and that's it. And when you done finish changing all the text, just click this button in the bottom, and on the bottom right, save. And once it's saved, it'll give you a little tick there. Okay, now it's saved. Now it's all done. If you want to, you can exit the Visual Builder. takes you back to the normal page. So whenever you're logged in, this is the normal page view. You can always just click on Enable Editor for that Visual Builder or Edit the Page to take you to the back. Or click on this name at the top here. It'll take you back to the back end if you want to look at the actual pages again.